Dear third semester CSE stream students, I welcome you all into my another video. Hope you are all doing well. So in this video, I will be discussing the super important questions from your third subject, operating systems. Subject code is BCS three zero three. So make sure these questions should be at your utmost priority. Try to cover these questions earlier. Surely, we will ask these questions in the examination. And as far as numericals, as you already know, I am not including the numerical part into my passing packages. So for those numerical portions, you have to refer pre. your question papers which i will mention later on in this particular video which papers you have to refer uh, irrespective of this uh, bcs 303 papers and also and also some papers you have to refer from 18 scheme right first of all let me discuss module first which is a passing module where i have taken super important questions surely we will ask so first of all define operating system explain the dual mode operation in operating systems with a neat block diagram it is a 10 marks question and next one is again a super important one explain multi programming and time sharing systems and what are virtual machines explain with a neat figure uh, what are system calls again a super important one briefly explain different types of system calls list and explain the services provided by operating system for the user in efficient operation operation of a system next one we have what what are micro kernels uh, with a neat figure explain the micro kernel structure point out their advantages or layered approach with a neat diagram explain the concept of vm where architecture and explain the operating system services with respect to programs and users list and explain the different computing environments and last one we have here distinguish between the following terms multi programming and multitasking multi processor system and clustered system so these are 10 questions from your module first which is a passing module surely you should refer these 10 questions right next one we have again passing module module 2 what is a process explain different states of the process with state transition diagram and process control block what is inter process communication ipc explain context switching and what is a thread how it is different from process discuss various multi threading models with suitable illustration this is again a super important question next one we have discussed the benefits of multi threaded programming explain the threading issues in detail explain the non preemptive and preemptive scheduling explain direct and indirect communication with respect to message passing explain five different scheduling criteria used in the computing scheduling mechanism and simply they will ask you uh, write a short note on a uh, multi level queue scheduling multi level feedback queue scheduling and real time scheduling and cpu scheduling and dispatcher and last one we have preemptive sjf okay shortest job first next one we have explain a round robin and first come first serve and shortest job uh, first and priority scheduling algorithms with suitable examples so this is all about your module second and as far as uh, problematic part is concerned i have already told you you have to refer some uh, previous year question papers of 18 scheme and also this scheme so now coming to the module third which i am not considering into the passing module some problems are there that is why so let me discuss first over here uh, this module third later on we will discuss another passing module which is a module fourth so what is deadlock this is a super super important question most of the times we is repeating this what is deadlock what are the necessary conditions for the deadlock to occur and how to recover from deadlocks what is critical section problem and solutions to the problem how to solve using semaphores explain the classical bounded uh, buffer problem of synchronization given the solution and explain writers writers problem using semaphores what are the requirements that must be satisfied by a solution to the critical section problem and illustrate with an example the peterson solution for critical section problem this is again a super important question so what is a resource allocation graph consider an example to explain how it is very useful in describing a deadly embrace and what is a semaphore state a dining philosopher problem given a solution using semaphore okay so for problems surely you should refer to your question papers if you are convenient next one let us discuss the passing module again which is a module fourth what is paging differentiate between paging and segmentation what are tlb explain tlb in detail with a simple paging system and neat diagram with the help of a neat diagram explain the various steps of address binding what is demand paging super important one illustrate how demand paging affects system performance what is thrashing how it can be controlled what are the commonly used strategies to select a free hole from the available holes what is a page fault again super important question with a neat diagram describe the steps in handling uh, the page fault explain fragmentation in detail 
and discuss the structure of the page table with a suitable diagram and write a short note on virtual memory and swapping this is all about your module for that which is a passing module so these questions should be at your utmost priority so module fifth we have here uh, last one define file list and explain the different file attributes and operations and explain the different allocation methods explain the file mounting what is access matrix again important question and explain access matrix method of system protection with the domain as objects and its implementation with a neat diagram explain tool level and tree structure directory structure and explain contiguous and linked disk space allocation methods sixth one we have discussed various directory structures with the neat diagrams last two we have here what do you mean by the free space list with suitable examples explain any two methods of implementation of free space list so last one we will discuss here that is explain the various disk scheduling algorithm with example and explain in detail about overview of mass storage structure so these are all super important questions from your third subject operating systems so make sure you will refer these questions and also previous year question papers which i will upload on my instagram account and you can refer previous year question papers for your problematic part but but these uh, theoretical portions you should cover first over there so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you Thank you.